I've done a ton of videos on people who make the worst image for fitness, influencing, and bodybuilding. Like, tons of videos. Just go back and watch. We got Toji. We got... Oh, man. Just go watch. It's crazy. Everywhere. I'm surprised that YouTube hasn't removed some of them because of how crazy they are. But the fitness industry is tainted with really not so great people. And they use that being not so great in America to leverage a lot of fame and popularity. And it works really well. For some reason, doing steroids on a screen uh, is somehow really engaging for the audience to watch. Not really sure why. Maybe I should start doing it and be a part of the problem. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I was the problem all along. But anyways, the world's taking notice to our rampant misuse of social media, arguably, and I'm all for freedom of speech, but freedom of speech in a very contextual way. I don't think you should be pushing out drug use and abuse content to young kids. I don't think you should be affirming that young kids should be using drugs and or other things, as that's really bad behavior. I never told you, like, you influenced them to take steroids or you influenced them to not take steroids? Yeah, probably about 5 to 20 DMs a day saying, Thank you so much, Tuggy. You inspired me to take steroids. I would say that encouraging kids to bodybuild or to be healthy or to eat a diet or something like this is conducive to well-being. I mean, it's, it's good to eat food. I think a lot of people have this diet toxic culture thing, but to, to be honest, like most of the world could use a toxic diet culture because they're all fucking fat and unhealthy. And the way our population is trending is not in a positive direction. Very negative. People are getting dumber. Literally, the IQs are going lower. Body fat indexes are getting higher and people are growing shorter shorter and their penises are getting smaller. I mean, not good stuff is happening from the foods we're eating. That's fucking without need for proof. That's just out there already. <laughs> this is going way too far. But the people who are posting more uh, assertive drug information are really what's happening as a problem. There is a really big issue in Europe right now. And that issue is that YouTube will begin limiting access to fitness videos for European teens. Essentially what they're going to be doing is age restricting fitness content. Here's why. European teenagers may notice a change in YouTube recommendations after the video platform said it will stop ushering them towards some type of your start. European, European, European teenagers may notice a change in their YouTube recommendations after the video platform said it would stop ushering them towards some types of health and fitness videos, particularly those that idolize certain body types. The new rule is in an effort to prevent teens from forming negative beliefs about themselves. Dr. Gareth Graham, who heads the YouTube health and James Bezer, YouTube's youth director of product management said in a statement, oh, that was the statement. The new rule is an effort to prevent teens from forming negative beliefs about themselves, said Dr. Garth Graham, who heads the YouTube health initiative bullshit. I don't fucking know. Don't squash me, YouTube, please. But anyways, what does this mean for the kids of Europe? Well, essentially, it means that they will not be shown videos that idolize particular fitness levels or weight groups. Interesting compare and idolize certain physiques or features, or are socially aggressive, meaning they show intimidation or fighting. Now, that last one really was keen to me because what I'm hearing from YouTube is more specifically that they're trying to block viewers from viewing things that are like the trend quins. <laughs> yeah, that's good. What the f is that moaning, man? Koji, someone we've covered on this channel, uh, the Trend Twins actually we've covered on this channel too, they post very aggressive content and they post very uh, bad content in regards to here was my physique before, here's my physique now, but on drugs. This kind of content is everywhere and it is very rampant on YouTube. I would imagine that this is more of what they're targeting. To say that they're trying to idealize a particular fitness level that isn't necessarily hyper extreme, I can understand the benefit of that. I, I could. Uh, it's definitely not good for youth to be hella dieting and just ripping calories away and staying in a deficit for you know longer than a, a couple months but it's also not bad to get an idea of what the human body looks like at its peak uh, i think understanding that there is a better image of oneself out there that is achieved through really hard work ethic and drive and mental focus and fortitude is important and i wouldn't necessarily stray away from showing people that in fact i would actually probably show them more of this like hey buddy you could achieve this shit if you 
really put in the work here, buddy. Uh, you want a fucking six pack? All you have to do is X, Y, and Z. And that's great. I love that idea because even if someone considers it toxic dieting culture, which what the fuck ever is that, I think it's great. I think it's good. People need to be healthy. And if they do it through a heavy hand, fuck it, man. Like the world's not going anywhere good right now. So who cares? But what I can see what YouTube is trying to do here is being a little bit more sensitive to the content they push towards kids in terms of our, you know, passionate non-friends of this channel, Toji and the like. What YouTube is specifically afraid of is involving content that encourages eating disorders, which I thought was really interesting and other content that involves physical fighting or rambunctiousness. Uh, YouTube can also redirect people to crisis hotlines when they search for things like suicide, self-harm and eating disorders, which I also thought was interesting that they would try to correlate the fitness industry with suicide, self-harm and eating disorders. It really shows what people think of this industry in other countries. But then I began to think as well, why hasn't YouTube done this in America? Why only protect the European teenagers? Why not do the same thing for American teenagers? And you really have to kind of be smart to think about this, but why would they want to? It's a platform where they make a lot of ad revenue based on people watching videos. And more specifically, those videos are highly popular within America. And we could argue that what's popular in America becomes very popular in alternative countries after certain amounts of time. Usually Americans pick up on a trend or Japanese people pick up on a trend and then it swarms the world shortly after and it becomes a worldwide trend. But what Europeans have notably been doing for many years is practicing more conservatism. They don't necessarily believe in the values of Americans and this is very clear whenever you watch a video of a European female talking about what she believes in life or whenever you look at a, a man's belief from European countries and, and what his goals are in life. It's always something highly conservative and family oriented. Not in the sense that they are trying to be safe, but in the sense that their constructive lifestyle is built more around what Americans' lifestyle used to be 30 or 40 years ago. Now, America is just a hot pot of disgusting influencer virality and really L beliefs and <laughs> philosophies about life. It's kind of crazy actually what we've become, but Europeans still have this like foundational belief that their life will be better with a significant other, with a family, and doing kind of the normal stuff that people do. Working jobs, trying to take care of their family, earning to possibly own a house in the future, which is still realistically far obtainable off someone's yearly salary there, unlike America, where the housing prices have gone to 20x what someone's yearly salary could be, so they have to take out loans for their entire life and hope that they can, you know, three years in the future still afford that mortgage, but not there. It's not like that. So for the future of YouTube, though, what I think is also interesting is we might see some down regulation in the viewership of these degenerate content creators. Really, just my whole life is all about being a degenerate. <laughs> And I think this could actually be a good influence to the direction that we would pretty much all favorably like to see things go. Now, what's also interesting is in many European countries, at least basically every European country I've been to, Bosnia, Croatia, Serbia, Albania, uh, a lot of other places, there's been no uh, barring of hormone use or anything like this. I, in fact, I think most gyms are well aware that people are using these things because they have needle dispensers in the gyms pretty much everywhere I went again in Europe. I just think the the negative influence from using steroids is probably not massively what they're concerned about. I actually think it's more so that they're concerned about the negative influence of people preaching that this is the lifestyle that they need to live and that there is no other way to functionally live a lifestyle. Toji are people like this. Uh, and I know I keep isolating him, but I did almost you know, a 40 minute long video on his character. And his character is very much, well, if you're not on steroids, you're not gonna get girls, you're not gonna get money, and you're not gonna get famous. They hopped on steroids because I wanted uh, to get famous. So you might as well get on steroids. And I think Europeans are more likely to push against that and push more towards something of a family-like bondage where you have a family, you can inspire to build more family architecture as opposed to push away from it, do steroids, get famous, try to be an influencer all by yourself and ultimately fail. Uh, because at the end of the day, this, what I'm doing right now, isn't 
isn't necessarily ideal because it is very lonely. It is very much so in isolation. And you kind of take that up three other levels when you start to do things that Toji does or any other influencer really within the fitness space. But I don't know, what do you guys think? Is Europea, Europea blocking these kind of videos an important thing? Is it a smart thing? Is it gonna fuck everybody in the fitness industry? And is it gonna spread to the United States? Or are we gonna keep our freedom of speech and let uh, let 18 year olds see Toji taking steroids and trend and idolize possibly doing that themselves one day? Or am I just a dumbass for even posting this video? If I am, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you could do me a huge favor, liking, commenting, but subscribing, huge for me. Heart to heart, you guys, this makes this channel run. And if you guys can subscribe more, it gives me a chance to get pushed into the algorithm. And as a person who really enjoys making videos, I would also hope that you would enjoy subscribing and watching these videos. Now, if you don't subscribe, that's totally fine, but it is free and it does help me. So click the subscribe button if you enjoy this kind of content. And while you're down there, click the bell button.